Hi, Rob Grimes with the IFBTA, and I'm very pleased this morning to be here with Tim Tang, the Product Marketing Director for Hughes. So welcome. Thank you. And also welcome to Hughes as a global industry partner of the IFBTA. Uh, we are very pleased to participate. So, okay, so you brought up, you know, minimum wage, you know, the labor relations pieces. So how, how does Hughes play in that, or how are you providing a solution that enables yes. you know, uh, that? A lot of the, uh, fundamentally at the core, the, so many of these market changes, at the very core is this basic principle that the way we've been doing business is not sufficient to address all, uh, it needs to change. It needs to adapt to these new market conditions that we are dealing with. We need to find new ways of doing business to cope with you know, employees that now are meaningfully more cost, uh, costly than they were mm -hmm. before. We need to find ways of engaging with customers, improving the, the customer experience, while at the same time driving down operational costs and those kind of elements. And uh, the answer, in not only in the restaurant, but in retail and so many other industries, is to turn to technology find ways to develop more compelling experiences for our customers and drive down our operational costs. And that technology, being able to support that, requires a whole new way of looking at how do we support the, the, the infrastructure. Well, you're, you're bringing up a whole bunch of different specific areas. So you got the B2B uh, play that's in there. You got the employees. Yes. You also have the consumers. That's and right. your solutions, while people may have thought of you as a satellite company offering consumer solutions, yeah, yeah. you actually offer businesses consumer solutions as well. Do you want to just sort of talk Absolutely. about those types of things? So as we look at uh, customer-facing solutions, uh, there are a, a number of things, particularly as it relates to the restaurant industry, uh, uh, solutions like digital menu boards, uh, guest Wi-Fi, things that restaurateurs now are turning to to basically address again a lot of the changing market so regulations. So I get the digital I get the guest Wi-Fi piece. Mm. I get that. But are you guys actually offering digital menu boards or are you the back end piece that's providing content? We are offering digital menu boards too as well. You know some of the challenges when you look at some of these exciting new initiatives is it's complicated. I mean, you're bringing in more technology. You know, we look at the old world where technology in a restaurant might have been as simple as a point of sale system running credit card transactions. Now to do digital menu boards, you have multitudes of monitors, right. uh, digital media players, a network infrastructure. Content management. And it's not a trivial thing. If that digital menu board were to go out, uh, you've now suddenly lost the ability to present pricing information and product information to your customers. Right. So it's not a, a simple thing just to slap a, a monitor on a screen, but we now we need to think through high availability concerns, operational concerns, uh, maintenance and, mon and, and field maintenance of what to do and how to recover when things go wrong. But it seems like you have a focus on certain industry verticals. You mentioned banking, retail, hospitality, food service. Uh, those are very common industries, so you must actually be able to learn a lot from one industry to the yeah. next and then leverage it within the next industry. What's exciting is as you look at the uh, transformations that are taking place, there are kind of errors. If you go back uh, five, seven years, you can see how retail had a, a real meaningful problem with its, uh, the, particularly the brick and mortar mm -hmm. stores, with their online competitors. Now you fast forward today, you see, and back then, I think the, the facing the restaurant industry was really more concerns about healthcare and the rising cost of the employees. Right. Now you fast forward to today, retail has had many generations now of, of digitizing right. their brick and mortars. The restaurant now, we, we start to see a... We don't view a, that as a, a digitized brick and mortar, right? A, a dramatic, and what's really exciting about restaurant is the evolution of their business because it's it's their the front line used to be the restaurant itself they were competing for customers that were essentially you know coming to the restaurants right. now the front line has moved to the customer's living room how do I engage with that customer while they're still at home to drive them well drive I think the difference there is that the retail industry traditionally has had one that's had online ordering forever and delivery yeah. but how was food service supposed to be able to do this and yeah. now you have you know, Amazon and delivery of food, Uber and delivery of food. Right. So all of a sudden, that barrier of delivery, absolutely, which is not a barrier in many parts of the world, you know, is all of a sudden disappearing. And so now you need to be able to take those technologies, apply it to food and beverage, yeah. as they've been applied to retail forever. Right. 